What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you find me for the first time I am a bit of a, a nerd collector and I also do a reselling thing on the side called eBay, you might have heard of it. Uh, but yeah, these are the bits I picked up throughout the week at charity shops and unfortunately CEX as well. Now in the, if not the last video, it was a video before that, I spoke about some Skylanders that I bought for £5. I, I did take them to CEX and I actually got do 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 23 pound 23 pound and 23 pence for that five pound investment which to be fair is not bad going uh, if I could times all my money by sort of four I'd, I'd quite happily do that but yeah tw 23 pound 23 pence but I actually bought a load of bits from CEX as well now these are just the bits that they had in store because I <laughs> I like to be able to see things as I'm buying them. I'm not a massive fan of ordering online. I, I order packaging and, and things like that online, but I won't do anything else. So these are the, the few bits I, I basically picked up and I'll tell you how much I paid for them as well. So in store, they had a load of NES and N64 games. And these are the ones I, I, yeah, these are the ones I picked up. Now I'm trying to get the receipt to stay still. All right, we have. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Now it's complete. It's missing the uh, the polystyrene insert which pushes the cartridge up to the top of the box. But it comes with a manual. And I still have my copy of this game. I'll have to check to see which one's in better condition. But yeah, the box is a little bit battered. But to be fair, most of, of games this sort of age are going to be. But it's... Oh, man, it's just wicked. I mean, this is this was brought out the year after I was born. 1990 this was brought out. So this is older than my little brother. So, yeah, I'm quite happy to get a box one in my collection, to be fair. Next up, oh, sorry, that was £15. Next up is Super Mario Bros. For the, NE, uh, for the NES. Bit of tape on the bottom. I'm not too fussed about. Uh, you don't see many of these around. I paid £22 in store credit for these. Uh, for this one sorry and this one is complete it's got all the manuals it's got like a poster in there as well but i'm not going to get that out uh by means if you guys want me to i can get it out in the future it's not a problem and uh yeah i yeah i wanted it in my collection and it was in the store it was 22 pound so yeah i'm just going to pause you guys for one second because i have a message i need to deal with quite quickly sorry about that it's my other half so yeah where were we Super Mario Bros. Now I've got this one. Um, I'm very sure it's the copy that I had from my childhood as well. But I don't know where the cases are. To be honest, due to the age of them, it wouldn't surprise me if we didn't ever, ever have the cases because chances are we bought them from car boots or my parents bought them from car boots when I was um, when I was a toddler. Not a toddler, but older than that. So yeah, Super Mario Bros. That was £22. Now the, the biggest and the most expensive item of the lot is Zelda, Majora's Mask. £45. I know it's a hell of a lot of money for a, for a game. And to be fair, I don't even like Zelda. That's going to annoy a lot of people. But Zelda just wasn't my thing. But it is 100% complete. I'm going to get it out for you because it's just such a beautiful looking car look at that beautiful there's there's a little bit of wear on the manual but that's not the end of the world manuals are quite often found at car boots and yeah i don't even look for them and i found a few of them so that was 45 pound we have gt64 boxed complete that was eight pounds it's a fairly common title but i just no, I don't have it, so just pick that up. Another decent game is Super Mario 64, boxed. It's missing, uh, it's not missing, the, the cardboard inlay that this guy comes with is absolutely battered. You guys can see, it, it's like it's been through the dishwasher, it's that bad. Missing the manual, but I'm fairly sure I, I have that in my filing cabinet, so I'll be digging that out. And it now means that I can get rid of my cart-only copy of this game. So, 
nice. So that was £28. And last but not least, we have Star Wars on the NES. Never played it. Uh, as I say, this was out a year after I was born. So the games we only really got from car boots when I was little. Paid £15. It's a game that I want. I do want to hopefully complete every uh, NES. Maybe SNES as well. We might go for the for basically all those sorts of games. I want to get one of each of, which I know is going to be hard. But I've got a long way to go and I've got a lot of time to do it. So fingers crossed we'll get there. So that was £15. So the grand total was 133 Now, I have not spent £133. I would imagine I probably spent about 50 to gain that 133 Maybe 60 So to get all those games for 60 quid, I, I'm very, very happy. So that's that. And then for a while, I think I bought them on Tuesday. For a while, I thought that was going to be the only thing that I was going to buy was going to be that. And it was going to be a CEX video of, of these beautiful games. Now, I need something clickbaity. Is this clickbait if I just hold these up to the camera? Look at that. They're all upside down and everything. Sorry. Right, that's that done. So, yeah, as I was saying, for a while, I thought that was all I was going to get. Nothing else. Kept going to the charity shops. Nothing that I could, that I want. I'm trying to be more selective what with what I buy to resell. So there's a few board games which they're just a pain. They're just so big and bulky. I mean, yeah, you can stack them, but then they get too heavy. Then the ones at the bottom start to to get squashed and get crimpled. So I'm trying to in charity shops anyway is be more selective. When it's out in the car boot, it's a lot different because you're in the heat at the moment. You haven't really got the time to think about it, but. I did get a few bits. Some more bits for me to keep and some more bits to sell on. So, as I was saying, charity shop. There was a, I think it was a bright red suitcase and it was open. It's one of those ones that sort of opens like that. And there was a few PS2 games in there. So I went and had a, had a little look. It's obviously just come in. Uh, PS2 games, you got your FIFA. There was yeah, your normal rubbish. And then I saw what was it I saw? I'm fairly sure I saw that just poking out. I was like, oh, here we go. This could be good. So I went in there and there was three GameCube games and there was a controller as well. So we picked up Warrior World. It's got no manual, but I should be able to pick that up without a problem. The case itself is, is battered. I don't quite know if the camera's going to pick that up, but you can see it has, it's got indentations all over it. So that was a pound, a game I definitely don't have. Terminator 3, Redemption. Again, it's another game that I don't have, so that's going over there. This one does have the manual, and it's oh, pretty tasty. I love the GameCube cases for some reason. It's, it's just different. I'm so used to... I mean, PS2 cases are exactly the same as the PS as DVD cases. I've, why am I fanboying over... GameCube cases. Uh, we've got red card as well. Pound. So common game, but it's a game that I don't have. Also a third party GameCube controller. Now I think these are only going for about £7 on eBay. So there's not really any point in me trying to sell it. By the time that I've paid three ninety five in postage, there's it's just not worth listing it. There's too much competition out there. So this will be going to CEX. I think they'll give me two pound in vouchers. So that's going in the pile to be taken to CEX. Then we're back to the place where I've got the GameCube stuff. It might be in the same day. It might be Wednesday. Now I've listed all of it on Thursday about 6 p.m. And one item sold straight away uh, about half six uh, this morning, Friday morning. Now, it's Sinclair Spectrum Games, and I know absolutely nothing. Now, she, she pulled this out, uh, a bag, and there was a load of Sinclair Spectrum, whatever you want to call it. And I've got absolutely no knowledge on it. I mean, my knowledge on, on collecting games is, is minimal at the best of times, let alone with something that was out years before I was even born, let alone even thought of, probably. So, uh, yeah, I I was on an R in... And she said, just give me an offer. So I said, oh no, fiver. 
So yeah, go on in. So I took the games. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games paid five pound. I thought if I can't make money on those games, then I'm never buying them again. Turns out I can. There's some cassette games, which I'll show you now. Nothing too special. So we've got Alien Swarm and Arena. That's a, a double pack. You see a bit of glare from my screens, my apologies. Horace and the Spiders. I'll try and tilt them up slightly. Ground Attack. Pool. Jetpack without a K because we're cool with, down with the kids and stuff. Hungry Horace. And we have Ground Force Zero. I've currently got them listed for £30 including delivery. Um, I don't know if I've got best offer or not. I'd have to double check. But yeah, £30. That obviously would cover the cost of everything and then some. Then there were some, uh, some cardboard box games, which I didn't know anything about. And then got home, started researching and was like, Ooh, a couple of quid to be made here. Now this is Space Raiders. There is no manual. I listed it. As I say, it sold 12 hours later. Thirty nine ninety nine, including delivery. Now it's going to be sent second class, signed for. That's going to be three ninety five. It's going to be in a box. I'm not going to put it in uh, like a, a DVD cardboard type box because I don't want to get damaged. I've got quite a good reputation on eBay as someone who packages items well and I want to keep it that way and I don't think I can quite protect it as much as if I was buying it and I was paying £40 for it I'd want it packaged so that it could take a bit of a beating and my product would still be fine so yeah that sold as I say within 12 hours so I don't think I underpriced it if anything I thought I overpriced it by a good £5-10 so yeah quality well happy with that and then the last item which hasn't sold yet is planetoids and this comes with the manual i think i've got 50 pounds on it maybe i'm sure it's 50 maybe 60 it might be 59.99 so we'll keep it up for one cycle and then if it doesn't sell then we might stick best offer on it i'm fairly sure i actually got a bust um i got sent an off for the game that sold and they offered me 20 pound outright declined it this is about 11 o'clock at night um, and then it's obviously it it sold quite quite quickly so yeah that was that was good quite happy with that i mean i don't think i've ever got so many bits for myself in in a week's worth of of car boot oh sorry of um of charity shopping so i've got some decent nes bits i've got some decent 64 bits i yeah I'm, I'm a happy boy. I've got some bits to play with, which is the main thing. That's what it's all about. So, weather tomorrow, it's it's been quite bad today. So I'm, I'm hoping we have quite a clear night. It dries up some of the rain that we've been having for the last 24 hours. So fingers crossed there will be a car boot video tomorrow. Failing that, I will be able to hit up pretty much every single charity shop in my local area. Might even go and visit the local surrounding towns and see what's about over there. But yeah. Not a bad day. I'm waffling, so I'll shoot. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. I'm off to go and have pizza. Adios.